All right, second pot coming up. Brought to you by Fishing in the Dark. <laughs> This week, with the weather taking a turn for the worst, we haven't done a lot of fishing, but this is what we got up to. Well, we're out nice and early. We've got to be early because the tide's coming up and we need to be back before the tide's too high. Uh, we've come to get the two pots that we've still got out here. This is the last chance we're going to get. Yesterday we couldn't get out, it was way too, too much swell out here. Today there's a bit, but it's not bad. And uh, this is it, we're pulling these in and taking them in now because there's a lot of big storms coming one in a couple of days and then more after that I believe now it obviously is dark but uh, yeah that's because it's really early yeah. well it's not it's just that the days are getting so short right up comes the pot it's been out for I don't know what a week or something I'll show you the catch after if we catch anything worth catching so if we leave them out for the next few weeks we probably won't have any pots because I believe there's some pretty bad when well, the next hurricane's coming, I know that. But I even feel it now making a little bit. crabs in it. Oh, ooh, it's one sound of it as well. It's just spiders, eh? Yeah, I think so. What that's got in it. Right, I'm gonna get us back in anyway. We'll uh, sort them out on the beach. We'll sort them out on the beach. There you go. Yeah, we haven't. We probably can't see them very well, but that's the last of the catch this year. Just spider crabs. We're gonna put all these back. So I'll try and show you if there's enough light. Which, there you go. You might be able to see them now. Quite a decent spider crab in there, but like I said, this time of year they're no good. They've all changed their shells, so they'll be full of water most of them. Gonna have to wait till next year now. But with these weathers like they are now, with the so unpredictable, it's just and catching like that, there's no point in leaving the pots out now. A lot of the lobsters will be work, working their way out deeper when you get big ground rolls like this. They're not stupid enough to stay in close. Right, time to go get some breakfast. Well, there you go, the pots are out. I um, decided to pull everything out because there's just too many storms coming and some big ones too. And if I don't take them out now, then we won't have any pots. And we're just not getting out. I mean, the weather's just too rough to get out now, even in the dinghy. So um, this is about the first calm day that we've had is today. Every other day is just gales and rain. So anyway, I'm actually working on some footage at the moment. I've got through around about 20 folders. We've got another 40 odd to go, I think. And it's all different days of fishing that we did this year, which I haven't released. I basically filmed it, shoved it on the computer, and it's just sitting here waiting to be worked on. Um, I'm just having a coffee break at the moment, listening to a bit of Beast in Black. You know, need a bit of downtime because staring at the screen, looking at videos for for so long, does you ready after a while. Anyway. Enjoy the video and we'll catch you on the next one or we'll try and, like I say, get out this week and do a do a fishing trip if we can. And uh, hopefully that will be in the next video, but we'll see what happens with that. We're just going to, um, just getting this pot, we're going to take it out with us, going to put it further out into a deeper, see if we can find the spider crabs further out. It's just a single big pot. Then we're going to go fishing, but we wanted to, like I say, take this with us. So. Oh, 
I see the pot coming up. Here you go. It's just under the boat now. Right, you want me to? Right. I got it. Step back because you're making the boat lean too far. Well, oh, there's a lobster in it. Looks legal. That is legal. Nice. At least we got something out of our big pot again. That's two. That too. That's two nice lobsters it, it's had. Yep. Claws aren't huge, but. Yeah. Make sure you grab that crab quick. Don't fiddle with him, or you'll grab on. Oh, you're too late. He's got it. He's got the pot. You got to do it really quick. brown crab and that's it right I'm gonna take this like I said we're gonna head off and do some fishing now there we go Pollock first one of the morning caught in 90 feet of water Yep, yep, yep. Hopefully the mark's in the right place. Yep. I hope so. Eh? I hope so. Of course it was a wreck. <laughs> yeah. So I marked it just before... I hope I marked it. I think you pressed the mark, but I can't see anything. Recording because I don't know. It's blown its uh, got the bends. It's a stonk over this morning. Right, so we're checking the crab pots. We've got four over here, we just need to check. We're just waiting on something else, so we thought we'd check them. They've only been out for 24 hours, I think, if I remember rightly. Okay. Yep. Thought there was. So one lobster, but only one claw. By looks like. Get him out of there. Or her, or him, or her. Now upside down. Do the aerobics. Hold him onto the pot. We go one lobster. It's only got one claw. That looks like it's man. <laughs> yeah, that could possibly be mine. Good day, my first lobster this year. Is it my first lobster? Of year? Might be. Right, are there any more? in the next pot. <laughs> oh, that wind, eh? Yeah, that wind is definitely picking up. We're not gonna be out here an awful lot longer. 
it is supposed to get up to around 20 mile an hour tomorrow right? or later almost there Always check when you slide them that the claws aren't sticking out, otherwise they sh can shear them off. That's a little one, isn't it? Yeah. Little one. At least they had some lobsters. Going back. Yep. And he's off. Right. Right, we're gonna bait these throw them back and we'll get on to the next one. Right, next spot. Got the tide pulling us. I have to hold the boat. Right, that's something there. Right, then the pot's coming up. I wasn't sure if it was around something. It's because the rope's tied up. It feels weird because it feels a lot shorter, but it's because the rope's bunched. <laughs> Oh, this is the uh, the one that we're testing. Oh, it's worked! It's worked! It's got one of the best ones so far. There you go. That shows it works. Let me just give you some help. That's an absolute beaut, that one. Nice big male. What's happening? No, I can't do anything with the engine, not so with the ropes. Are you jammed on the bottom or? No. Um, you notice something though, not a single spider in four pots out here. No, Spiders are going to be bad this year, I can feel it. Mind you, this is still a little early, but no, they wouldn't get out of that. No, they wouldn't get out of that. Yeah. Right, we're pulling in the bay pots now before we go in. Even if he is big enough, he'll only just be in. That's got enough bait in it, that one.
There's plenty of crabs. One little conger eel. Third one we've seen in the last couple of days. There's a spider crab in this one. Spider crabs in there finally. Not huge, but There's a crab on the outside of the pot, I think. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. How big is it? It's only a small one. It's only a small crab. Mm. Got it? Yep. Wow. There's a crab in there, though. One there's in there's big enough. This is the one we built for crabs as it well. Is, yeah. Another one. <laughs> And it's the colour of it as well. I could do with a left hand glove, please. Yeah, must attract the spiders, this one. Like, yeah, that, there's, what, there's a big pile of spider crabs over there, let's go. Yep. Well, at least it's lost its new smell anyway. Right. It's a curious, curious colour. Two. Aren't they? No, they're almost white, those. Got a spider? Yep. Finally one that's not bad. It's not huge, but it's not bad though. 